Falls and one day cold. Yes, sir. And to think that some people were saying that there should be one day cold versus burning boy on Twitter. Can we all just stop I'm all of this? Like, things? Are Bond people off. still <laughs> all right? You needed to see the comments. Like the comments were mad. Some people said uh, one has no, uh, Grammys, another one does not. Oh, people police. Said, someone said, no, one day cold is not burning boy's mate in any. Please. <laughs> what do people still say on Fridays now? Is it still TGIF even when every day feels like a Friday in this lockdown season? <laughs> That's a very good question. Though. I don't even know what the answer to that is because we definitely lost track of what the weekdays usually feel like. But we don't even mind at all because this is such an important season in our world and this shutdown is the best way to tackle it. So keep staying safe at home and staying just just be safe ladies and gentlemen mm -hmm. in case you're wondering this is royal highness and it's flyness i go by the name king oj but you can call me oj that's what it is it, it is, is what, what it is, is. <laughs> it's your home girl it's your girlfriend next door it's the jewel in the crown it's the hostess with the mistress my name is honey potter yes, first so we'll bring you the news then we'll take today's celebrity birthday shout out and then rewind and of course i'll bring us to this laughs on sweetville then later on we'll chew it off and do the entertainment news recap. We'll be back with the COVID-19 themed game much later. So if you were unlucky last week and couldn't win the airtime gift, you just might get lucky today. Yes, there. And of course, on Daily Top 5, we'll take a look at five foods to boost the immune system, especially this season. We'll take some selfie requests as usual, then we call it a day. Sounds good, yeah? Yes. Well, let's get it done. Yes, we'll be back in a bit, so stay here with us. <laughs> Sir. Thank you so much for staying here with us. Of course, it is still East Splash. And so we get straight into the entertainment news. And we start with this uh, not good news. Sadiq Daba's health worsens. Veteran actor and broadcaster Sadiq Daba is on the verge of losing his sight as his health continues to deteriorate. According to reports, journalist Oluta De Simon is calling on Nigerians and government via Twitter to come to the aid of the veteran. He tweeted, Adi Abiodun MFR at Professor Oshibajo at Jide Sonwolu Sadiq Daba is still sick. Yesterday, he reached out. He was still ill and on the verge of losing one of his eyes. And it is a tough time as the government is battling COVID-19. But I will blame myself if I don't do this and something happens to him. Just so you know, in 2017, it was revealed that Sadiq Daba was diagnosed with a prostate cancer. And months later, he was hospitalized for leukemia. There's a very yeah, a very sad one, sad a crazy one. one. And at this time, that's yeah. it's not even a good time to to be ill or anything. And I think um, the journalist just did what he had to do because he knew that this is not the best time. But he just said, like, since I just have to put this out there, and it's good. I know there are still some people. Um, Otedola too was trying, was on his case when the news came up that he was ill. Um, donated a couple of um, money, some of money to, to help him in the hospital. And of course, this is coming up right now. I know there are still some people. He's uh, an actor and a veteran broadcaster. Mm -hmm. Definitely, it's good that we are aware of this. Mm -hmm. It's good that we are aware of this. And we, we just keep praying and wishing him speedy recovery. Definitely, Amen. definitely. Moving on to the next story, Salawa Abeni raises a lamb after being blackmailed. Queen of Waka Music, Salawa Abeni has revealed that she's being blackmailed online by someone who has a nude pictures from her past. The veteran Nigerian singer revealed this on Instagram where she also shared screenshots of the nude pictures alongside a chats with a blackmailer. And the caption of the post, she expressed disappointment over an attempt at tarnishing her over 45 year old career, amongst other things. She wrote, and I quote, I'm very disappointed that someone somewhere would try to tarnish my image and threaten to destroy my career of over 45 years. This morning I received messages from somebody threatening to expose very old pictures of me and in the process blackmailing me for money. This could have been pictures of me in the hospital or even with my partner. But is this what has become of us? I plead with everybody out there to be very careful as our current situation has made people very desperate. I'm almost 60 years old. I have worked very hard and made a name for myself for somebody to believe that they can threaten and trample on my feelings. This is very sad. So I've decided to share the messages and pictures sent by this person. 
with everyone for you all to see. She ended with this. Thank you and God bless you. For you, the blackmailer, I refuse to be bullied by you as I'm sure that I'm old enough to be your mother. <laughs> this one is a very... I love the approach. Yeah, Salah before, yeah, before yeah. you, you do Rip something me off of my stupid, cash. let me just show everybody so that you don't even have anything to exhibit at the end of today. It's a very fast move and uh, smart one at Yeah, that. very smart one. I listened to an interview this morning on Your View where she was, <laughs> she was just cursing, cursing the person involved with this blackmail. He said, what do you want to even release out to people? Is it now that there's... <laughs> She said a whole lot of things, wow. crossing the guy, but it's crazy that situations like this they happen and look at the person you're trying to rip off cash from. Like, this is a musical legend. This woman has helped in the Nigerian music industry, giving people music. We even played a song yesterday. Mm -hmm. I danced to a song yesterday. For you to now even think you want to rip her off of her money, come on, man. Come on. It's just, it's just, <laughs> is this what we have gotten into? That's what she's even saying, Seth. <laughs> <laughs> well, she has said it all, and I think she has done the necessary, yeah. and, and I see that now that person does not even have anything to do any longer. Damn! <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on. Takashi 69 released from jail. American rapper Takashi 69 has been released from federal prison after his lawyer filed for an early release claiming the rapper's chronic asthma condition makes him vulnerable to the novel coronavirus. According to Lance Lazaro, who is Takashi's defense attorney, the 23-year-old rapper will serve the rest of his sentence at a non-disclosed home location due to security reasons for the final four months of his two year sentence. You might remember that Sakashi 69 was sentenced late last year on charges related to gang activity in New York but received a reduced sentence after cooperating with federal investigators and informing them about his former gang associate. The rapper is not the only inmate to be released amid the coronavirus pandemic as New York City is battling the spread of the virus. It has been reported that there are at least 180 cases of coronavirus already confirmed at federal several jails in the city. Undisclosed location, mm -hmm. Tekashi. <laughs> so, you know, we're very scared for Tekashi. Like, uh, they release you, people. Okay, so because everywhere is on lockdown, <laughs> you're thinking that uh, this gang thing. For now, for now, undisclosed location, everywhere is on lockdown. Tekashi is free right now, but he's yes, yes, he doing has his jail yes, time at yes, home. Yes. Eh, let's see how it goes. Hmm. Okay, so the thing is, we wish Takashi well, but if he survives it, it would just be a miracle, right? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> because uh, those American gangsters do not joke. You snitched no, on they people. Don't joke. They reduce your jail time. Takashi, you are out in an undisclosed location. <laughs> We're going to find you. We don't look for where you are. <laughs> I'm so scared on his behalf. I don't know what to say. Like, I am just so scared. It will be all right. It will, it, will, it will apologize. Release music. Apologizing to everybody. And I, and then maybe do a video and beg for his life that, please, and, help me. Oh. And people will just move on. Hey, the, I do not believe it. The gangsters will move on. Wow. <laughs> does, it, does it really work like that? We okay. don't move on. Yes, <laughs> That's the end of it. yes, we are done with the entertainment news. Right now, it's time for celebrity birthday shout out. We start off with this one. Yes, Eddie Murphy is first. Yes, the American actor, comedian, and singer is 59 today. Aside his successful um, movie career, he has also worked as a stand-up comedian and was ranked number 10 on Comedy Central list of the 100 greatest stand-up of all time. Fun fact, ladies and gentlemen, he has 10 children. <laughs> what did that do to me right now? Did so that, I just so, pass out? So that you know, you would have said, oh, cute man, oh, <laughs> But then we have under 30 boys having a lot of children already. How Where are you many? referring to Fetty Wap, uh, Future? Like 
Okay, so let's go. <laughs> Eddie <laughs> Happy Murphy. birthday to yeah. Eddie Murphy. Singing. Eddie Murphy is that person who has exhausted all the talents. Everything. I'm not sure he has one talent left at Everything. 59. Everything. I mean, this is so impressive. Everything. This is commendable. Yes, sir. This is like, look for every word to use for this. Congratulations. Happy birthday to Happy Eddie Murphy. Happy birthday. Also celebrating today is Alec Baldwin is 62 today. Yes, is an American actor, writer, producer, comedian, and political activist. Is a member of the Baldwin family yes. and the eldest of the four Baldwin brothers who are all, all actors. actors. Yes. And, and of course, Eli Baldwin, that's Justin yes, Bieber's wife. wife. This is Eli's uncle right there. <laughs> And another very interesting one is that, you know, uh, he's getting this attention from his portrayal of the sketch of Donald Trump and, <laughs> in, the, in the Saturday gets, night series. He you actually know, that series. kills it. Yes. And he kills it. He and, kills you know, it. he's even received a award for that. Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, <laughs> this is a great man. Yes, sir. Alec Baldwin, happy birthday. Also celebrated today, Amanda Bynes is 34 today. <laughs> Yeah, she's an American former actress best known for work in television and film throughout the 1990s and 2000s. She rose to prominence as a child star on Nickelodeon through the sketch comedy series All That and the spin-off series The Amanda Show. Mm -hmm. Yes, she's done voicing and of yeah. course always playing um, those comical characters. And I love her cute face. Nickelodeon, cute, yeah. with her <laughs> beautiful cheeks and eyes. Yes, sir. <laughs> Happy birthday, Happy Amanda. Birthday. <laughs> also celebrating today is Leona Lewis, who is 35 today. Yes, the British singer, songwriter, and actress achieved national recognition when she won the third series of The X Factor in 2006. A single, Bleeding Love, was UK's best-selling single of 2007. And quick fact, one of my favorite songs from Leona Lewis has to be um, the theme song to Avatar, which yeah. was released in 2009, yeah. I See You. Super oh, talented Super, singer. super, super talented. Uh, cute, cute for days too. Happy I mean, you know, when you've got brains and then you've got beauty. Mm. Yes, sir. Way to go. Yes. Mm -hmm. Also celebrating today, Chief Ebenezer Obe. Yes, he's 78 today. Hey. Yes, the chief commander and evangelist is a Nigerian juju musician who has had an active music career since the 1950s. So I'm sure you know if we were to count how many albums he has to his credit, it would take a whole long while. Mm -hmm. In the early 90s, though, he branched into the Nigerian gospel ministry and to date, He's still killing it, music-wise. Yeah, so he's still killing it. And this is somebody, in fact, this is a great feat, 78. Congratulations to Chief Ebenezer Obey, uh, Fabi. And, uh, you know, he's done so much. And even when people thought that he wasn't doing, uh, you know, gospel, mm -hmm. every song from Chief Ebenezer Obey had mm -hmm. a story line. Like, the man, the horse, and the, <laughs> and the son, you know, like different different songs and i i can remember that growing up i listened to this and well beautiful in fact somebody was talking about you know because of this pandemic somebody was talking about um uh one time like that uh that um there was cholera breakout and he had a song to read okay. yeah uh, yes so somebody was remembering and talking about it these people have done so well for themselves and for the nation uh dear nigerian artists <laughs> okay, nobody has anything. And I remember when... Our when, national treasure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, I was still talking about Chief Mizabi. I remember when people were staying back then, that himself and King Sonia, they, they had beef. And in a recent interview, King Sonia, they said, they were just doing all those things because people were loving it. Yeah. So they were just forming... I would drop this song to have used this one. This one will drop this but song. But the, the, they're just two different people yes, too. Yes, sir. And Ebenezer Obey is older. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, happy birthday to Ebenezer Obey. And of course, to everybody celebrating on this special day. Yeah, we're going to be blowing them kisses. We kisses wish you all the best <laughs> you wish yourself. And take kisses. <laughs> this is my own kisses. Go away. Go and sit somewhere. <laughs> somebody that cannot even kiss to save his life. And then somebody is asking me, how did I know? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, but then he can't. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> the show continues after this break. See you soon.
<laughs> Righty. You guys see what we did there? <laughs> Rema do my B. Yeah. Fireboy jealous. Yeah. Joe boy baby. Yeah. Coronavirus. Coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's now time for Rewind, where we learn about this day in entertainment history. You take a look. Let's rewind. On this day in 1960, Elvis Presley records It's Now or Never, Fever and Are You Lonesome Tonight at RCA Studios in Nashville, Tennessee. And in 1978, Richard Drofus and Diane Keaton win for the annual at the 50th Academy Award. And on this day in 2008, Mariah Carey overtakes Elvis Presley's record of 17 number one US hits with her 18th Touch My Buddy. And that's it on Rewind. Yes, sir. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. That was DJ E. Cool representing DMW, the video music worldwide. He can dance! Uh, yeah. That one starts with Vanga. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Like, are you trying to do versus you and E. Cool? E. Mike, who am I? <laughs> who am I? I? <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, this is Tweedu. Let's, like, let's take a look at today's laughs and savagery. <laughs> Me, never that. <laughs> so, um, Papa again, as usual, oh a god, meme. Oh, God. And of course, looking confused. <laughs> and the caption is Does it even bother my ancestors that I'm broke? <laughs> oh, God. Like the ancestors so that are doing you, does it bother them that this boy is broke? Oh? No, not the ancestors. The ancestors are not the ones doing you. You sure? Village people are not ancestors, though. Eh? Ancestors are your Break it down. Are you all right? You know, and some like ancestors. ancestors. No, ancestors are like your great grandfather and all that. Like, and they can be the one that they actually. No. But you know, they can. But I don't want to enter this story. If I enter this story, <laughs> I'll bring my mom into it and then I'll say one very funny stuff. But if you're not a Yoruba person, the thing will not be it's sweet not like that. Because my mom believes that so when somebody dies, the person should not go to heaven and use pillow to glory and so long, like sleep off. Like, you I'll should be, be able to. You. <laughs> Um. So, so if anything is now happening to like an orphan, my mom say, ah, so did the parents just go to, like they just slept off like that? Not bother. Okay, now nah, I get where Papa is coming from. Yeah, I get where Papa is coming from. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have next, ladies and gentlemen? Sound that meme again, a popular Nigerian actor, and looking. So the caption is: Any person with corona, when one tries to escape from any isolation center, make them catch him. But the problem now be say. Ugo Gri, catch him. Especially when you don't have gloves. <gasps> so what he's trying to say, like imagine somebody, a victim, uh, somebody that tested positive to coronavirus, the person trying to escape from the isolation center, so, and they're shouting, catch him, catch him, catch him. You know, this coronavirus has made me remember all those sci-fi novels I used to read. Mm -hmm. What was that uh, a movie we watched on your birthday some two years ago? Uh, you remember, like, yes, yes, you, yes, you're yes, going yes, to yes, somewhere yes, and then yes, you yes. touch that person, so it's like coronavirus. Everything, everything you just start getting infected. Yeah. So in this kind of situation, you will not catch the person? Okay, so I don't, I don't think I need to continue asking for that. Will I? Let's just move on, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> So another picture again um, with the caption, no more bathroom mirror pictures because you are now in your father's house. Slay queens. How market you? True or false? Wait, wait. So this people is, have been saying this. People this is say totally true. They are not uploading pictures again because their houses are not fine and they don't have good backgrounds and all that. But people have been doing like old pictures, old throwback. videos. Why are you giving us throwback? throwback? Give up. Now that we are in that corona crisis, that isolation, that lockdown, just do all those. Stand in front of your well, gates. What? Stand in front of. But they can gates. actually do it. I mean, I don't think it should be that bad. Oh, I not... still give like daily, you know, fresh pictures. But the thing is, if I wasn't able to come to work at all and just stay at home, guess what? I might just dress up. Some people have been doing it now. So I know somebody. We know somebody who did it. Like she got made up and then. But she, I know she... a whole lot of girls. They are not doing this now. You know those girls that on a good day they will just wake up and they are in front of the bathroom and they are in one bedroom. You know those I, girls are not recording their their story again. Like, what's the problem? Is but people have all, also been doing uh, the TikTok. brush challenge, uh, even the brush challenge, and you can see their houses. They are using filter. 
so that wow. when you see their faces, they will not use portrait and bloody background. Wow. Let's just move on. Wait, wait. Slay, slay queens. We, we don't cash you, man. <laughs> <Our market. laughs> So another picture, this is a picture of two little girls in the car and this caption, my wife have to wear them their uniforms, told them we are going to school so they can stay calm. They've been in this car since 7 a.m. and the house has been peaceful, oh my God. feeling relaxed, oh aka my God. children right now at home are terrorists. I saw one person, somebody said, if you have shouted, go away from them, <laughs> like 50 times today, raise, raise your hand. <laughs> Like you parents now, I know a whole lot of you can see what teachers in school go through. Which I think children. they should just reduce the sugar in their diet. Like that can give them mad energy. They will just be jumping around. Yes, yes, yes. So, so this is something I think I can do. Just dress them up and form. <laughs> you are going to school. Oh, yeah. Because I and, did not kill my mother. And, and you will not kill me. Enter the car. <laughs> uh -huh. We are going to school. I'm coming. Oh. I'm coming. Just wait for me. I'm coming. How do I know that I'm on this table that I can do it? I'll enter the house and sleep. <laughs> wife, you'll be watching them so that they don't come out of the car. Uh, on the AC, give them music. Wife, you'll be watching them. Uh, so when... Spew out of nonsense. <laughs> you just spoke that. <laughs> Children, thank you for frustrating your parents. <laughs> Let's just move on. What do we have next? So somebody puts up this post and it says, Four years in university studying theatre art. All you could do is fan Igwe. Hmm. Hmm. Then somebody now replied, only in one scene though, because the Igwe will be sick in the rest scenes. <laughs> so, so all those people that study theatre art. It's a lie. It's a lie. I took Expl courses. No. I took courses in yeah, dramatic art. Let, let and me it's now. a lie. Let me finish now. It's a lie. So the people that they used to use for this role are all those people that did theatre art number one. And they have all those, they are forming their Jimmy. So it's you that will find the Igwe in just one scene. And that's what you went to school for. <laughs> it's a lie. It's a lie. So there are different. It's not me that's saying it. It's not It's a lie. It's because the students don't even have the knowledge of it. There are so many <laughs> things you can do. So you see that there is lighting there on the stage. There are people in charge of it, and they have different. Uh, as you are in that department, you have different. Uh, you know, uh, should I call it? Uh, so what? What's is, that? What this person is referring to is when you're. This person does when, not you're, when you're done with school. When you not really want really, to act, yes, in real act life. in real life. That this is what you went to school to study. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. Even though our kappa has gone, wow, you still, you're not serious. You see, not them theater art people. <laughs> <laughs> I did not study theater art, but I took courses in theater art. But I'm still related to them, and it does not mean it is the truth. I've got people who are doing wonderfully well. It's the truth, my son. No, it is not the truth. It's the truth. No, trust me, it's not the truth. You just say, Igwe. <laughs> That's what you do. I, I acted in that movie now. I, I see me now. I'm the one near the Igwe. This is not For, nice. Ladies and gentlemen, this that's is not story. <laughs> this is not nice. It's not me, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that's it on Sweetview. The show continues in the second half, though. We'll see you at 1 p.m. for the last half. Ah, line. Twitter people are savage. <laughs>
stay. Which one is every time, every time, every time, every time, every time? Do you understand? Like it can still be a life mm -hmm. and all that. So I think it's just um, for people thinking, oh, some people don't just like because they're bored and all that. It's still a good time to be alive. And that, uh, you know, you're healthy. People have died from coronavirus and all that. Although I know that some Nigerians are not taking it seriously. And uh, thank God that nothing bad is even still happening to them. And I do hope that they would just hear word and stay at home and, uh, you know, keep social distancing. It's just um, a good thing to be alive. Yes, there are so many things to be thankful for, uh, you know. Look at the plants. Look at the, even the air that you breathe. Mm -hmm. There are so, so many things to be thankful for. We should be high on our gratitude and be very, very low on complaints because I know that... Ah, <laughs> complaining is yes, our sir. forte in this part of the world. So, I mean, that. I've learned that and it works for me. True it does not mean I have everything because I know somebody is watching and saying that. Why won't she be saying that? Because I don't even have everything. Uh, there is nobody that is without problems. Mm -hmm. But it's a choice. I have chosen to be happy. And I'm happy. That's I'm glad. Is. That's where it is. That's Hallelujah. Where it is. Amen. <laughs> offering time. No, we're not collecting offering now. The where will you take me the to churches. today? <laughs> 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 I, like, I, li I like what I'm saying these days. People are taking their health seriously right now. And people are looking like Power Rangers on the road. I see a whole lot of people jogging these days. <laughs> and I'm like, wow. So you can't <laughs> jog. <laughs> Super grateful for health. Anyways, All right, guys. Like Ladies and gentlemen, moving on, it's now time for a quick recap of the entertainment news. And we started with Sadiq Daba's health worsens. And of course, we talked about the swan Salawa Beni raises a lamb after being blackmailed. Takashi69 released from jail. <laughs> okay, today's game will begin after this break. If you're feeling lucky or would love some airtime, get ready to call us. We'll take this break and we'll be back. Stay here with us. Yes, sir. Welcome back, like ladies and gentlemen. Give myself, oh. Hey, allow me to. to uh, but you can still flex now in this situation. People are flexing. People have been eating. As you said, some people have been exercising. Yeah. Some people have been eating, you know. I saw. Like, and they don't go anywhere. With that eating, you know, there's a level that you eat, you will not have food again. Okay, so people are now <laughs> <laughs> measuring what goes into that. So them. use yourself. <laughs> Because you don't know how long this lockdown will no, be. No, it's 14 days 14 now. days. Okay, <laughs> let's see. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. So it's game time and here's how it works. You'll be asked five questions about COVID-19. If you can correctly answer four out of five questions, the airtime is yours. So please be prepared by reading up and making sure you have airtime before you can call us. So at the end of the game, we will announce the winner and tell you which answers you answered correctly or didn't. Is that all right? Cool. All right? Yes, sir. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> all right, yeah, but we are feeling quite generous today. So if you can't answer five, that's fine. If you can answer four, we'll give it to you. But you have to be the first to do so correctly. So get ready. And after this break, the games will begin. <laughs> See how I'm excited for you. <laughs> like you can always just win something. All right, it's a KG. Jerusalem. Jerusalem. <laughs> Jerusalem. <laughs> yes, we have a caller on the line. Fine, Tola was good. Hi, OJ. What's Hi, happening? What's up? I've been trying to go this um, TV show for a long time. Oh. Ah. Ah, no Hi, guys. No vex, no vex. <laughs> you must win this one. Or your voice is going. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You must get all the answers to these questions. <laughs> I'm right, trying, I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> okay, so the first question: How many COVID nineteen cases do we have in Nigeria at the moment? At the moment, um, one is five. 185. Okay, we'll find out if you're wrong or right. Yes, the second question, which governor recently tested positive for the coronavirus? His name and the state. Governor Sheima Kide of Oyo State. Okay, we'll know whether you're wrong or right. The third question, how many recovery cases do we have in Nigeria at the moment? We have like 19. 19 or 13, I'm not sure. Ah. Give me, give me an accurate answer. answer. Okay. 13. 13. Okay. We'll find out whether you're wrong. All right. The fourth question What date and time did the lockdown announced by the president take effect in Lagos, Ogun, and Abuja? 
what date and time? Oh, um, for Ogu State, it's different for Lagos because I'm staying in Ogu State. So Ogu State started, it's going to start this night. But for Lagos was last week, I think, last 11 p.m. last week, yeah. Last week when? Friday. What time? Eh? What time? Okay. You'll find out whether you're wrong or right. The fifth question, final question. Name three types of workers exempted from the Lagos, Ogo, and Abuja lockdown. Medical okay. workers. Okay. Um, you said how many? Three. Three. Medical workers. Um, road, no, sorry. Market people and... Um, Security. Okay, uh, Faitola, thank you very much for calling. You'll find out by the end of the show if you really got all the answers correct. Thank you for calling. Thanks so much, Faitola, for calling. All right, so this is still open, and you can still be a part of this particular game. All right, it is COVID-19 theme game. So if you know that you have all your information, yeah. We Let's got you out. covered. Yes. Just uh, put a call through. Our numbers are right there on the screen. And we'll be asking our questions. Be sure that you are hot like that. <laughs> and then you'll be winning at airtime. I mean, what is not to love about winning airtime at this point? When people are families. just at home and they're bored. And you know that you can always call. You can uh, do video calls. You can always just do so many things. Or subscribe to go and be doing TikTok on social media. You know that is what people have been doing. <laughs> Ah, I would have asked further questions, but then let's focus on this COVID-19 themed game. What right questions now. do you want to be asking? <laughs> <you do>? <laughs> <laughs> Who is better, Ricardo Banks or Bonaparte? Anyway, <laughs> <we're sorry. laughs> that's not the question, ladies and gentlemen, we're asking today. Yes, it's all about the COVID-19 coronavirus situation. Yes, we know we are in the lockdown right now in Nigeria and, of course, in other parts of the world. So we're trying to enlighten and, of course, spread the messages so that, you know, a whole lot of people are just spreading fake news up and down. So we want you to tell us when we ask you the question, give us the right answers. To That's right. Us, That's gentlemen. right. So we'll go on a break. And when we come back, okay, we have a oh, caller. Oh, we have a caller. Hello. Hello. Ademola. Hey, Ademola, how are you doing? I'm doing very well. Good afternoon. All right, good to know that you're doing very well. All right, so are you ready for these questions? Yes, I'm ready for the questions. Okay, so the very first one. How many COVID-19 cases do we have in Nigeria at the moment? Um, one night at 11 a.m. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Which governor recently tested positive for the coronavirus? His name and state. Um, Bauchi says, Governor Bala. Are you sure? Like recently tested positive. Yes, yes, yes. And maybe she must be there for your state. What did you say? Which are you sticking to? I'm picking the, um, Bauchi says, Governor Bala. All right. How many recovery cases do we have in Nigeria at the moment? Uh, at the moment, we have 20 cases. All right. What date, time did lockdown and was was the lockdown announced by the president to take effect in Lagos, Ogun, and Abuja? And the lockdown took effect on Monday. No, was it Monday? Um, on. I think Monday. What time? 11 p.m. 11 p.m. Hmm. Okay, now number five, name three yeah. types of workers exempted from the Lagos, Ogun, and Abuja lockdown curfew. And we have health workers, we have the security, and um, market women, food sellers, right there, food sellers, to be precise. Hmm. Hmm. Wow, well done. Uh, just uh, keep your fingers crossed and your eyes peeled, okay? Uh, at the end of the show, we'll let you know if you are the winner, okay? Keep watching. Thank you so much. Yes, yes uh, ladies, and <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we'll go on a quick break. And when we come back, the game continues.
Yes, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Baba right there featuring Peruzzi and Maka. And of course, it's still game time, hashtag COVID-19 games. And we have a caller on the line, Ezekiel, was good? Yeah, I'm good, thanks, brother. So are you ready for the game? Yeah, sure, I am. Okay, the first question, how many COVID-19 cases do we have in Nigeria at the moment? Yeah, we have 184. 184. As the second question, which governor recently tested positive for the coronavirus? Mishayima can be for your state. Okay, number three, how many recovery cases do we have in Nigeria at the moment? At 20 at the moment. Um, the fourth question, what date and time did the lockdown announced by the president take effect in Lagos, Ogun, and Abuja? Um, the effective date is um, Sunday. Sunday the... 20, uh, the 30th okay. of um, match, yeah. What time? Time, 11 p.m. Okay, the fifth the question. Night. Name three types of workers exempted from the Lagos, Ogo, and Abuja lockdown. Yeah, we have uh, the doctors. Okay. We have the um, telecommunications and um, the broadcast um, people and then um, the food... Um, Producers and retailers. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thank you Thank very you much, Ezekiel, for calling. Mm -hmm. And of course, we'll find out at the end of the show if you are truly a winner for the airtime we're giving out today. Thank you again. Uh, yes. <laughs> so many questions. Okay. Uh, not so many questions. Five questions. Five questions is a lot. <laughs> like. <laughs> Five questions, and they're so easy to actually answer. Uh, if you have been watching the news, if you have been, uh, you know, uh, putting your ears to the ground and not uh, following rumors, you know, fake news. All right. Do we have another caller here? Okay. I think we do. Okay, we lost the color. Oh. Um, so feel free to call in, ladies and gentlemen, to partake in our game that we're playing today. Hashtag the COVID-19 game. Let's get informed properly instead of the fake news we hear on the regular. So we have a caller on the line. All right, so we have another call. Temita is here. Hey, Temita, how are you doing? I'm fine. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. All right, so are you ready for the questions? Yeah, I am. Okay, let's go. The first one, how many COVID-19 cases do we have in Nigeria at the moment? Uh, we have um, more 90. Which governor recently tested positive for the coronavirus, his name and the state? Governor Shimakili over your state. How many recovery cases do we have in Nigeria at the moment? As at 12 this afternoon, it should be 20, 20 cases. Hmm. What dates and time did the lockdown or was the lockdown announced by the president to take effect in Lagos, Abuja, and Ogun? Uh, he, on Monday, which is um, 30th of April. So um, it should take effect at 11 p.m. But I think that Ogun said the governor is dead and that it should take place today or something. All right, the fifth question. Name three types of workers exempted from the Lagos, Ogun, and Abuja lockdown uh, or curfew. Okay, I'm um, journalist, um, security worker, and a multi Journalists, security workers, and, and health workers. Ah, sorry, security, security, then health workers. No, the third one. I didn't get the third one. Uh, the doctors and health, health, health workers. Okay, okay, so are they three right now? So health workers. S Security and um, journalists. Okay. okay, all right. Thank you. Tim Tayo. Uh, keep watching. Keep watching. We'll get to give you the <laughs> answer. The verdict. Yes, at the, the judgment the <laughs> at the end of the show. <laughs> all right, do we still have another call on the line before we wrap up the game? All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are done with our game. Um, when we come back, the top five will happen. And of Yay! course, we'll tell you who won and who didn't. So stay here with us. Oh, yes, Ricardo Banks nice, right there with right. Rora. Yes, <laughs> feeding your body the right nutrients can help keep your immune system strong. And that is one of the essential things we need in this season of coronavirus. So in case you're confused about what you should be eating or drinking to boost your immune system, we got you covered. Now, yeah, five immune boosting foods. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Daily Top 5. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go.
Number one on our list, spinach. Yes, spinach is not just rich in vitamin C, it's also packed with numerous antioxidants and beta carotene, which may increase the infection fighting ability of our immune system. Spinach is LDS when it's cooked as little as possible, so it retains its nutrients. However, light cooking enhances its vitamin A and allows other nutrients to be released from it. So I particularly spinach. love spinach. I particularly, particularly love spinach. In case somebody is wondering, that's um, uh, the one they always use for a furry roll. Yes, and I think they call it tete, effort tete in Yoruba. <laughs> so in case somebody is wondering, like, oh, too what much English, what are they talking about? Effort new. Yes. Is there any effort? In this particular one is tete. Effort tete. Yes, effort tete, that is spinach. <laughs> All right, now let's get to the next one, and that is garlic. Garlic's immune boosting properties seem to come from a heavy concentration of sulfur containing compounds such as uh, allicin that keep your immune system strong. It also helps lower blood pressure and slow down hardening of the arteries. Garlic is a must have for your health. I know garlic is one thing that a lot of people don't like, like because of the smell, mm -hmm. but I tell you, it is so so medicinal it's so healthy it has so many benefits as we told them you know and uh, garlic i tried um you know something with garlic um early last year and uh what i was doing at that point you know i was very conscious because you know you sweat it smells garlic and all that what? of course i am very very neat and then i was uh, when I, whenever i used uh, my perfume it's just mix and then it's like it has some flavor <laughs> of garlic. <laughs> but then one thing about garlic is that that garlic, I took it, and after I'd finished that medication, for like some weeks afterwards, I was still smelling garlic. What? But in a very nice way. Yeah, and they also use garlic to cook too. I know I must have seen it somewhere. Yeah, of yes. course, of course, of course. So of if you course. don't want to go through the stress, you can just, just mix you it know, with food Yeah, or but the thing is, even when you use it sometimes, you know, and then you're, it's so, you're so heavy on it, it still smells. But then it's very, healthy. very healthy. Do not look at that smelly part. Just be neat and eat garlic. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, let's talk about ginger. Ginger is another type of food many may turn to after getting sick. Ginger helps decrease inflammation, which can help reduce a sore throat and other inflammatory illnesses. Ginger could also help decrease nausea. People use ginger in a variety of dishes and desserts as well as in teas. Ginger, and so, ginger. Uh, before the lockdown, mm -hmm. You know, I had to like uh, quickly get ginger because it's one thing you should have in the house. It helps, <laughs> it, <laughs> it helps sort throat, as we said. Yeah, uh, it's so healthy too. And do not even mistake ginger for garlic because it's GG. And so some people just mistake, oh. uh, you know, ginger for garlic. Ginger too is very nice. And ginger is used in some drinks like Zobo and mm -hmm. all of those with the fact that Zobo itself even has, you know, uh, health benefits and then the leaves and then. Yes, number four on our list, ladies and gentlemen, green tea. Yes, green tea contains only a small amount of caffeine so people can enjoy it as an alternative to black tea or coffee. Drinking it may also strengthen the immune system. It contains flavonoids, which may reduce the risk of a cold. Superb, superb. Green tea. Beautiful. I know some of us, so it's just uh, the normal beverages, the chocolate drinks and all coffee. that that we know. <laughs> Black coffee, no cream. Green tea is the one thing that you should actually invest in. And I'm sure you'd just to reap the benefits at the end of the day. Now, let's talk about citrus. It's no news that citrus fruits contain vitamin C and help build up our immune system. But what many don't know is that it also increases the production of white blood cells. Because our body doesn't produce or store it, we need daily vitamin C for continued health. Almost all citrus fruits are high in vitamin C. Examples are grapefruit, oranges, lemons, limes, etc. With such a variety of uh, to choose from, it's easy to add a squeeze of this vitamin to any, you know, meal as they are key to fighting infections. So guys, this is just the way. This is the truth. I mean, uh, citrus fruits. Helps a lot. Helps a lot. You know. <laughs> so I just, I just have, truth. I just tick two on this list for myself. That's spinach and, of course, vit citrus, vitamin C. Intakes, yes, yeah. and it's very good for your immune system, as we said. So during this uh, period, mm -hmm. be sure that uh, if you have it readily available, you can always take it. And uh, if you don't, you can always just take your uh, vitamin C supplements, uh, you know, 
good for your immune system. Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, are you not educated? Yes, we are done with Daily Top <laughs> 5. When we come back from taking your selfie request, we'll let you know if you were the lucky winner of the game we played earlier. Guys, that trouble. I love, love, love the world. Oh my gosh. Yes, like, sir. I could I could listen to the world. Like, ah. <clears throat> Just the music. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. What's, what's wrong what? with your throat? No, it's not anything COVID-19 related. Yes. Okay, because, I mean, these days you don't, 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 <laughs> don't. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. You just checked our selfie request where you guys took over the playlist. And yes, before we declare our winner, um, the questions to the answers we asked earlier. The first one, how many COVID-19 cases do we have in Nigeria at the moment? That The answer is 190. The second question, which governor recently tested positive uh, for the coronavirus um, is Governor Shei Makinde of all your states. Number three, how many recovery cases do we have in Nigeria? At the moment, we have 20. What date and time did the lockdown announced by the president take effect in Lagos, Ogun, and Abuja? And the answer to that question is Monday, March 30th, 2020 by 11 p.m. And finally, uh, the fifth question, name three types of workers exempted from the Lagos, Ogo, and Abuja lockdown. Um, yes, we have the hospital medical health workers. We have the food market people. We have the petroleum people. We have the electricity power related companies. We have private security companies. We have the Lagos seaport workers. We have telecommunication companies. And of course, media staff who can prove they are unable to work from home. So any parts? And uh, the winner of our airtime, Ginger OJ. Yay! OJ. Our last caller, Temi Tayo. <laughs> Congratulations on winning our airtime gift. Thank you so much for being a part of it. It shows that you are so, so, so informed. Mm -hmm. All right, we have to go. We want to say a very big thank you to you, 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 and you for watching us on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and it's Friday. We hope that we have been able to entertain you. Yeah, and educate okay. you. <laughs> Great way. <laughs> From King OJ. Yes, sir. And I, Honeypot. Hmm. God, Stay here. happy and share JJ Mafo. You know that I deal with you, Mafo. Mafo, man. Hold on, watch.